Are you gonna charge for that beautiful set of nails? Today's situation is that your client walks in the door and brings you this gorgeous set. You already know what to do. You're gonna do a full set of gel sculpture nails, but here's the thing. You've come across a new technology by Young Nails that's gonna save you probably about 30% of your application time. The big question is, do you reduce your price because you're saving that time? Do you feel guilty because you're saving time? You're gonna offer your customer a discount. We're gonna find out. Let's go talk to Tracy Ryerson right now and talk about exactly how she's gonna execute this set of nails. Tracy, talk to me about using the new precision applicator gels. Like the experience, it's gonna save you some time. Obviously I'm super excited about it because this is our new innovation, but Walk me through this. I struggled with gels. Yeah. I really did because I was uh, started off with acrylic. Right. And I'm very heavy, heavy handed. Right. It's like kill the product. No. Uh, so <laughs> I'm like, this will make for those people that have struggled and right. they have a hard time with the float. Because this, I was going to say game changer, but I hate using that term. But it's true. But it's true. Like it really is. You're going to see it. You're gonna look and you're like, is it really gonna make that much difference? It's a huge difference. And talk about just being able to get the product on. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm really obsessed about that. Just get the stuff on. Yeah, yeah. And this will allow you to do it. It's 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 awesome. If you're a beginner mm -hmm. or you're an acrylic tech struggling with gel, yep. how much of a difference is this gonna make? It's, well, you tried it, right? Yes, I did. We had you kind of do both. Um, and you were able to float like easy easy yeah so for a beginner um, or a hardcore acrylic user they're gonna pick it up so much faster so much faster and then for a seasoned tech right because we sent this out to right. our mentors right and they um, fact I, I know Stephanie will probably tell their her experience she, she didn't think it was gonna make a huge difference right and it cut a huge amount of time off her services. So Correct. Do you discount the price because you're saving all this time? Right. Or not? I can't wait. Don't tell me. We'll find out after the set is done. Are you ready? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, before we get started with the demo, let's go over what we're going to be using. We're going to be using our Synergy Gel Base. We're going to be using Manicube Beige 102. Gonna have a little shimmering sand glitter. But most important, we have our new Young Nails Concealer Pink Synergy Gel Precision Applicator. Super excited to show you guys this. And we'll also be using our brand new YN LED light. Let's get started with the demo. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pushing back our cuticle. Grab that medium crosscut bit that I love so much for prepping the nail. Again, this is about equal to a medium grit sanding band or a medium grit file. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back that skin, tuck right in there. Make sure we're getting that cuticle nice and clean. I always start there because that's really important. That way we prevent lifting and we're gonna follow through. And we're gonna remove shine from the rest of the nail. Next, we're gonna use swipe. Gonna get a clean manicure brush out. And we're gonna pull all that dust and oils off the nail. Make sure it's nice and clean. Going to grab our protein bond. Put that on the nail. Make sure we cover the whole nail. Gonna do that on all 10 fingers. Come back, do it for our second coat. This way we know we're not gonna have any lifting. Next, let's grab our Synergy Gel Base. A lot of people ask us if you can skip this. I do know some people that do. I do not recommend it. It's kind of an important layer to any gel that you have that really nice bond. This is gonna grab that natural nail and then it's gonna grab the gel product we put on top of it. We're just kind of pushing it into that nail bed. Grab our light and we'll go ahead and just set it for 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna grab our form, put it on the nail. Put it out. 
take a look to see if we're crooked. We are. Kind of tweak it so it's fixed. Nice. Okay. So now the fun part. We're gonna grab that concealer pink. This is really cool. We have the stand, it stands by itself, but this is the most exciting part of the tube is the applicator. So if you've had a hard time floating gel in the past, this is gonna make your life easy. So we're not gonna grab a brush. We're actually just gonna work straight from the tube. We're gonna go ahead and extend her nail and butt that up to her natural nail. Pull it out. Apparently I'm boring. <laughs> Attach it to the sidewall. And we're just using that applicator to guide it exactly where we want it to go. Once we have it, we can go ahead and get it in the light. So we just want to freeze it. I'm just going to stick it in the light for 10 seconds. However, I'd probably do this on one or two nails and be working on the other hand. I'm going to go ahead and pull that form off so we get a nice cure all the way through especially if you're working on something like a pink and white, which we'll do another video on. Grab our tube and nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and go towards the back of the nail. Let some of it come out of the tube. Have a good amount. I'm gonna start kind of pushing it towards the back, connecting it to the cuticle area. I'm gonna hold her finger down and work with that applicator. And this is so easy, the easiest way of floating. I'm gonna build that kind of upper arch. And as we've got that, again, we're holding that finger down. That helps pull that gravity, pull the product where we want it. Keeps it away from the sidewalls. I'm working my way down. Now, look at it from a side point of view. Add any that I need. Looks like we have a nice little arch. We have our upper strength. Everything looks like it's where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that light. We're gonna put her in the light. I'm gonna put her on low heat mode. Now what this is gonna do, it dims the power. This will be here about 30 seconds and it's slowly gonna gradually increase the intensity. In about 50 seconds, it will go to full power and we'll let her cure out for the full 99 seconds that this timer is on. Let's grab our swipe and let's remove that sticky layer dispersion layer, inhibition layer, whatever you want to call it, you need to remove it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this nail by file and shaping it and we'll get back to you with the design. Okay, so we're going to grab our protein bond and we're going to put a nice layer on top of our gel. That way we know that the gel polish will not chip from the surface. I'm going to grab our Manicube Beige 102. Here for 30 seconds, grab our shimmering sand and we're going to go from the jar to the nail all the way down. The reason we go from the jar to the nail is that way we don't get that sticky residue that's on that nail on our brush and making it all kind of gunked up. Technical term. Brush down, removes all the extra kind of Pay attention to the sidewalls, get all the glitter out of there. Gonna grab our stain resistant top coat. Get a nice little layer on the whole surface of the nail. I'm actually gonna coat it twice with glitter, just so we make sure we covered all of our spots and then it's really gleaming. So let's get this in the light for an additional 30 seconds. Let's do that second coat. Exact same thing from the jar the nail all the way down nice full coverage wipe our brush off brush down the nail and this just kind of flattens out the glitter and gives it a more of a chrome effect okay let's grab 
that's stain resistant again. Put a nice layer on top so it's nice and smooth. This time we're gonna put it in light and we're gonna cure it out for a full 60 seconds. Go ahead and grab our swipe again and let's remove the sticky layer. Okay, Tracy, here we are. I, as always, am super curious, especially on this one, because you save time. I'd like to know how much. Well, since it took me less time, I'm gonna charge them the same price, which is $95. $95, there is zero discount. You're saving time. Do you not pass on that? Do you not feel guilty, Trace, for uh, saving that time and getting your client off the door quicker? No, I mean, the, it's the same amount of product, it's the same amount of skill, right. it's, it's just you've figured out a faster way of doing it. So yeah. now, um, not only can you either book more people or go home to your family earlier, whatever you wanna do, book look less days, whatever it yeah. is. Don't feel guilty. Um, your client is still getting the same type of service. Correct. Same quality right and I know that you know some techs get mad when we talk about speed but it's a reality no, no. Wrong with it. it's it's not only it's a reality and if you actually want to be successful in the salon you must incorporate speed into your services like there's no I believe that there's no way around it which is why this is so important yeah, you know treat your client special That's exactly all while they're in the chair yep. correct and I'd like that treatment every once in a while if you treat me special it would be nice can we do that no chance, I knew it. Thank you, Tracy, for that beautiful set of nails and the fact that you did it in such a quick time. I love it. See you next week on How Much. Yeah.